Today I've got Duncan Simmons from Instant Vap in the UK. Hello, I'm Griff Free, so going to go in Griff Faith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now, a treat for you today. We've got Duncan Simmons from Instant Vap. He is the main agent in the UK for Instant Vap, and he's bought me a little present. And we're going to be vaping some bees together on this site. And they've got some new products coming out to complement the Instant Vap. And we're going to show them in this video. I'm sure you guys will want to see you. Welcome to the channel, Duncan. Thanks Thank for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. So let me see. What, what, have you, what have you got here from here? So basically what we've done is we've brought up the new Instant Vap. This is the one that has the deep discharge on it, the switch off. So the ones before just had an alarm. But this one now... Once it gets down to 15 amps, it just shuts off. So it protects your batteries, because your batteries are expensive. So this one will protect them. So basically, in my old unit, if I were to just keep going with the old battery, potentially I could damage it. Yeah. But with this new version, it's impossible to damage the battery. Yeah, although you had an alarm, yeah. if you didn't hear the alarm, then you have, could potentially damage them. This one has a deep discharge shut off, so it basically stops it. Amazing. And it also has a stronger handle now, so that it, it doesn't flex so much. Amazing. Very well, let's have a look then, let's see, let's see what you got there. So there's your new unit. As you can see, the handle's much thicker now, so a lot stronger. And it, as I say, it's got the built-in discharge. So uh, once it, like I say, once it gets to that level, it just switches off. So it's, it's a, it's a much better tool than the first one, but as things go, they always progress and get better. Yeah, well, it looks identical. I can definitely feel that handle is definitely stronger. A lot less play in there now. You've got the nice instant fap sticker on it now. Nice blending. Bosch for me. Yeah, absolutely love it. And the, I'm guessing the controls are the same. We, yeah, we, absolutely we, we, the same. we switch that on and there's no other difference to it than that. It's just, it's just a, uh, the new one now. If anybody were to buy an Insta Vap now, they automatically get the upgraded version. They do, yeah. They're, they're coming through now as, as standard, yeah. There we go. Well, as you know, Duncan, last time I was down here, I came here to vape. The vape worked brilliant. But unfortunately, I had too much downdraft with the new. I was thinking maybe I wasn't going to get that much downdraft, but I did. But we've got some Hessians today and you're going to show me uh how to vape we're gonna vape like a professional today because duncan's been vaping a lot longer than i have much more ex much more experienced beekeeper in general than me uh you've been at it how many years you've been on the bees duncan this will be a 50th year this year 50th year well guys you can't ignore that kind of experience and knowledge and it's great for me to spend some time with someone that uh much further down the road than me and hopefully i'm going to learn a lot from you today duncan yeah about the insurvab how vaping works and everything absolutely and, and beekeeping in general yeah. i'm sure everybody here is gonna want to see uh you know how good this this insurvab is and um uh, one good thing i suppose the main selling point with this especially if you're commercial you don't actually have to wait once once you vape take it out you can reload and go straight again. yeah the there's, thing with there's, this there's it no need to wait. yeah it heats so quickly so basically as soon as you get to temperature you you start using it it will then drop back a little bit but instantly it starts to reheat so even when it's reheating you don't have to wait for it to get to 230 you can actually st start it again at say 220 225 and it'll work fine so while you if you wait for it when it's up at 230 your battery is just basically keeping it there you need to start using it and it will just keep reheating so you can move after 25 30 seconds you can move on to the next amazing right now we're going to be using in the uk the approved treatment is apivioxal now th this is a bit of a, a tricky subject in the uk that that medicine is approved in the uk so by law you're only allowed to use that if you're watching this channel from another country then oxalic acid may be okay for you to use now it does work better on oxalic acid so if you're from different parts of europe different parts of the world oxalic acid may be fine for you but in the uk uh, we're supposed to use apibioxal and we use apibioxal here at Green and Griff. So just, that's just the, the legalities uh, around it currently. All right, let's go there. Let's go do it. 
So uh, as you know, we're in the nuke yard and we're going to be treating nukes now and the, the polystyrene nuke is a bit of a risk for it to get melted by any kind of vape but Duncan has got something to stop the instant vat from burning or melting your poly nukes. Let's have a look, what do you got there Duncan? So now we have these little silicone nozzle protectors. So basically it's very simple. Where you've got your brass nozzle just basically slips straight over and protects it. So you, so you can put that quite happily into the entrance of a hive and it's not going to melt. You can put it on your plastic or your, or, or your polystyrene, it's going to be well protected. So this is how we're fixing the, the, the mesh floor on the poly nukes. We've got a, a bit of hessian, just fluff it up. We're going to lift the nuke up, just put it on the floor and then Duncan's going to come in and we're going to wrap it. And that mesh is going to be sitting tight against the open mesh floor and we won't get that down draft like we had in the last video. Perfect, hardly any gas escape in there. That worked perfect. How easy and fast is that? So we just finished vaping these bees. Didn't take us that much time at all, Duncan. No, Two of us no, going very there. quick. And that Hessian trick worked perfectly. As we were lifting the nukes off, you could see the gas coming out at after. It worked perfect. So that Hessian trick is perfect. And don't forget, we sell Hessian sacks in the shop and there's no reason that Hessian won't work for bigger hives as well. Now, the big thing, we've been using Apibioxal now uh, in the vapes. Now, should we put store this now dirty or should we clean it after using? No, it needs to be cleaned because the, the Apibox has got a little bit of glucose in it so it can caramelise a bit on the inside. So you need to wash it out. Um, so we've got a new, I think you've got one there, a new plug. So what we do with this plug is we, f we fill it with water. So when it's, when it's hot, when the machine's still hot, you fill this with water. It will go, we'll show you in a minute, it will go into the top inverted like that and then it gets turned over but what you have to remember this machine is still very hot so you're going to get an awful lot of steam coming out of it so when you do turn it over you need to make sure you've got good gloves on you've got your your mask on because there's still traces of oxalic in here so basically you need to be well protected and you need to do it so it goes away with the wind because you don't want to scold yourself with the heat or the steam coming out well that sounds brilliant so basically go out, use it, little cup full of water, and we, we're purging the machine out. We're getting all that rubbish out, all 
the glucose or whatever's in that box. So we're cleaning all that out so it doesn't block the machine. That's right. And it's a simple process. And I'm guessing we, we can buy these caps from you. Yeah, we'll be selling these. They'll be on the website and we'll also be taking them to the shows and everything else. So basically you can put it through three times. The temperatures almost drop right down then. So then you just leave it, let it dry out with the, with the residual heat that's still in it and you're ready to put it away. So just a double cap. So you do it three times. Two or three times. Two or three yeah. times and then and that, that's safe to go into storage. Yeah, then you can just switch the thing off, let it cool right down and then put it away. Right then, okay, well, let's, let's see you do it. Okay. Okay, so the unit's still up to temperature. So what we'll do now is we take our water, we invert the machine, put that on the top, like so, and firmly hold it down. And it's, that's the first clean. Then you take it off, refill, and do the same again. Now, do we wait for that to go back up to top temperature? No, it can stay, it's at 166 now, so you can still get the water, it will still steam, and it will still clean. Okay. Okay, so now we're ready to do our third one, same again. Turn the machine over, pop on the silicon plug, and turn over. Now that's done, we can just leave the machine now to dry out, let all the vapour, all the water come out and finish it and dry itself and then store it away. Well, that is a great way of cleaning the system, super easy. You don't need fancy tools, let water rinse it through and that's it. That is a great system. Well, that's the InstaVap cleaned out. Is there one more thing we should do to the InstaVap before we store it away now for the summer? Yeah, when it's when it's dry and, and you've completed your wash down, what you need to do is on the top here, you've got a small O-ring. So what you want to do is get a little bit of mineral oil and rub around the O-ring. So basically when you put that back in, you have to push past that O-ring and when it's oiled, it will be a lot easier to push in. So basically, that's going to preserve the life of the O-ring, saves you going through O-rings, just makes everything a lot smoother, less friction, and just more long-lasting for that O-ring, is it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you get two more O-rings with the unit, but if you can make them last longer by oiling them, making their job easier, then all the better. Well, thank you very much for coming with me, Duncan, and vaping some of these nukes with me. It's been great, and thanks for bringing uh, a new upgrade in some VAP for me as well. Really appreciate it, guys, uh, the work you guys are doing at Instant VAP. And I've mentioned in, in several videos on my channel, I believe by far that this is the best VAP or vaporizer, sublimation device, whatever you want to call it, currently on the market worldwide. Thank you very much. And, it's, um, it's been really nice to come up here, and we brought you the weather. Bought the Cornish weather with him. Well, we're going to keep this and send him back and keep the weather. <laughs> so, well, that's it for this video, Duncan. Thank you very that's much. That's the in-depth uh, look at InstaVap and the new bits they've got coming out with it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.